Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Swords and Sandals Immortals. In the last episode, we defeated Huge Charles to become the champion of Willard Sound. But now, it's time to move on. Through the overworld, to our next area, Shackleford. There it is. Right, it'll take us four days and nine hours to go to Shackleford. Let's go. We're off. It's going to kind of our time, which I'm not happy about. No, well, no lightning magic here, and no special items such as potions. All right, that's not bad. Shackleford was once home to the great troubadour, rogue, swordsman, and legendary defender of Brandor, Baron Wolfgang. Oh, we remember him. A pleasant and unremar uh, if unremarkable land of gentle hills and farms. It is also renowned as the birthplace of the widely beloved Shackleford whiskey. Let's go on an adventure here, why not? Tales from the Whiskey Barrel. You arrive in town just in time to see the great plume of smoke coming from a large wood and stone building on Shackleford's outskirts. The stench of burning alcohol hits your nose, and then you see a fallen sign burning on the ground. Shackleford Risk Whiskey, it reads. Famous distillery is on fire! A portly woman approaches you, coughing and sputtering. You there! she cries. There's a priceless barrel up there in the loft. It's been aging for many years and it's worth a king's ransom! I'm not strong enough to haul it down here before the building collapses. I'll reward you handsomely if you fetch it for me. Uh, I should really just say no to this, but sod it. Let's go with it. Alright. Covering your head with wet rags, you head toward the distillery. The front door is ablaze, but you notice a wooden arched window to the side. Stonework up to it is uh, rough hewn and perfect for climbing. So you rapidly ascend and kick the window open. Billows of smoke burn your nostrils, but you quickly spot the barrel in question. It rests on a mantle all by itself, and it's uh, plated in embossed silver with a mark of the maker. With great effort, you haul it out the window and yell for aid. Two burly fellows exist in lowering the barrel to the ground and away to safety. Ever grateful, the whiskey distiller rewards you with a small bag of stars. Nodding warily, you retreat from the flames and to the safety of the city proper. We got seven stars for that. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's encamp. All right, seven stars. Oh, it's raining from the as well. Hello. Stranger, you see it too, don't you? Yes, the distillery was on fire. Oh no. You understand the gravity of the threat we face, yes? There are darker powers involved. The malevolence is behind this. My late cousin and... Oh. Your Antares' cousin? Oh boy. <laughs> Alright. My late cousin Antares thought he could bargain with such powers all those years ago and it consumed him. Now that some that the same force corrupts the mind of the greatest gladiator this world has ever seen. Should the Starbound Gladiator defeat our great sentinel, all will be lost. Not kings, not emperors, not these automatons. None will stop him from opening the constellation mirror and inviting the Manella. <laughs> The Malevolence in to destroy us all. I'm Persenet of Eldor Hearth. Far have I travelled in search of you across scorching desert and deep ocean. Your fate lines are strong. For what they call me, what for they call to me? Yes, it shall be you. I will arm you with the power of my sorceries so that you may defend us all. You shall be the great Sentinel. Well, that's the plan. Thank you, Persenet. So Persenis has now joined our ragtag of misfits, I guess. The Enchantress is now available. Alright, so we got some stuff like reset talents. We can enchant uh, our weapon. But unfortunately, we can't do that right now. That's fine. What can we buy? We can buy potions and runes as well. Which give extra abilities. Uh, doesn't seem like we can do that as of yet. We need to be level 10 for that. Okay. Not useful now then, but, you know, could be useful later, I guess. Also alchemize, which essentially turns our stars into gold. Not too bad, not too bad at all. All right, we're running out of time, really here, because it's 7 p.m. I want to try and get a level up before this day ends. So let's take on yeah. Keller. He's got my voice. Yeah. yeah, he's got my voice. Fine, we'll do the battle intro because you have my voice. Why not? All right, Keller, the nice Hallian bard. 
Okay, so you got a lot of charisma, so you're probably going to be doing sonic damage. You're also undefeated, I notice as well. This could be a problem. We are in the rain right now. I rolled a 15. That's a really good start for me. Uh, I could just do this. Oh no, that's a heal. That's a oh! Stop that. Don't move away from me. Oh, yep, yeah, you do sonic damage. You've stunned me. That. Ah. Alright. I can attack your head for 73. Yes! And he actually did that 91 because of my upgrades. You were a worthy foe, even though you technically didn't hit me. You just shouted at me and my helmet came off. But a level up is what we get, and that is all that matters. We can actually keep fighting, which is quite good. Let's go, uh, Caden next. Let's go. Alright. Battle intro. Alright. So you've got some stats on you. You've got intellect. Alright. That could be a problem, I think. That could be a problem. Hopefully it's not, though. Hopefully it won't be a problem at all. I rolled a 20! I got a natural 20, which gave us some uh, some stars. Very nice. Just some normal stars. Alright, let's go. You missed. That's not good. Got him there, though. Oh, and you poisoned me. That's not good. That ah, poison damage. That ah, I resisted it. No, more poison. Attack. All right, just one more hit and you're dead. Oh, I wanted to be that one. Gotcha. There you go, Reginald with another win. You get some money here. Look at that. One thousand and one thousand and ten gold. Very nice. Very nice indeed. We have grown more powerful. There you go, that's the end of the day. Pretty much, I think it runs until midnight, I think. Anyway, let's go for some attack. And some more attack, actually, just because I, I want to be able to hit. So let's learn more sword mastery. Damage and hit chance up to 12% now. 288 days until the arrival of the Starbound Gladiator. All right. Have you got anything uh, new for me? We have the Blackjack of the Bear. Alright, plus one to strength. That's quite alright. No, the Dirk is at level 8. Good to know. Might as well keep fighting then. At this point. Let's take on your denied entry. Oh! Okay, they've changed the rules. No ranged weapons, no armor. Ugh. Alright, it's a good thing I got a lot of health then. Uh, okay. Let's unequip stuff then. How do I unequip stuff in this game? It's probably my info panel, isn't it? Yeah. Unequip. Unequip. This could be a problem. <laughs> this could be a massive issue, this. But we are unequipping all of our stuff. So we can go into the arena. Because it seems like it's just full-on fights right now. Alright, let's go back in. There you go. The wall. Oh, sorry, I thought I said wall flicker. Whale flicker! Flicks whales! What an arsehole. Alright, I got a better fight record. Oh, we do ba about the same amount of damage. Alright, but my hit chance is better than yours, I think. I would love a good roll here! That'd be nice. I need a 13. I rolled an 8. Aha! I have avoided you! I do 88 damage. You have stunned me, though. Which I'm perfectly fine with. Lunge! 71! Nice try, buddy. You're stressed. I win! Alright, nice job, Reginald. Nice job, Reggie. Huzzah! Huzzah, indeed! Alright, defeat him in four turns, and we got a level up for it. Let's go to the fight selector again, shall we? Battle Wallenty, a bard with a hammer. Okay. Alright, I do more damage than you. You have got high attack, though, so you're going to be hitting often. But so am I. I rolled a four. Ah, you missed. Oh, I wanted to one-shot you. Ooh, nicely played. Unfortunately, you used that ability of hog hack uh, when I didn't even damage you, which uh, sucks for you. Dead in one. Reginald wins again. More gold for Reggie. It's what he needs. It's what he needs right now. I'm going to try one more. 
And we're against Ewan, who has a guitar, so that's going to be Sonic damage I'm going up against. Then again, I don't deal well with Sonic damage or any other damage, to be fair. Oh, your damage is way better than mine. Your damage is way better than mine. I need to end this quickly, or I'm probably going to lose. That's a four. Oh, okay, you actually tried to hit me with it. All right, oh. Ah, that's Sonic damage. I'm stunned. That. Ah. All right, go in. No. Oh, God, that's a crit. Yes, gotcha. Jarring hit. Did 100 uh, damage. Nice. We just get achievements here. Yeah, I think it's time for me to go. <laughs> go to sleep. I don't think I want to risk doing that again, to be honest. I will grow more powerful indeed. Uh, vitality, strength. Miles just keep these stats going. I'm going to boost stamina at some point. Don't worry about that. Right. 14 now. Can't wait to get to this so I can get maybe... Yeah, maybe combat ready might work. Or critical mastery. One of those two, I think. One of those two might very well work. Okay. 287 days until arrival. Let's see what we've got now since we're level 8. We get an apprentice Dirk. It does increase to intellect, which is bad for us. But I am going to buy that. Why not? Let's get a Dirk. And I shall sell my knife. Nice to get this. So this is a rare item. Oh, this is an uncommon item. Sorry. An uncommon level 8 sword. Does 13 damage. And it gives us a buff to intellect. Which is not incredibly useful for us. But here's the thing. What we can do with that at least. Uh, no lightning, no poison. That's fine by me. I'm going to put my stuff back on, I think. I'm going to put my stuff back on. There we go. Equip. Equip everything. Because I think, really, we could probably buy some new armor at this point, since we're level 8. Is that everything? It looks like it is. Alright, nice. Nice indeed. Okay, let's go to the armor. See what we can get. We can get a tattered cape. So we can get some back armor, which might not be too bad. I think we're going to go with that. We have a cape. Lovely. Alright, yeah, we can get militia armor now quite good. Are there any uncommon? There is one. It just buffs charisma. Not worth it. Not worth it at all at this point. I will certainly take, though, um, the brigand vest. Yes! Okay. Let's also take the militia helmet as well. Lovely. Uh, I wonder if I could get enough money for the brigand buckler. Unfortunately, this stuff does not sell for much. Which is a bit of a shame. But we can buy other stuff. Yeah, we can buy the Brigand Braces, for example. It's going to give us a bit more. Uh, we can get the... Uh, brigand Sandals, definitely. And we can get the Brigand... Sh uh, sorry, the, yeah, the Brigand Shoulder Guard. So really all we need now, as usual, is Pants and Shields. Which is fine. This can all get sold. Yeah, we just need the pants and the shields right now. But our armor is now 222, which is quite nice. Quite nice indeed. You didn't waste my time. Waste your time. I bloody ball all the shit off you, asshole. All right, we could challenge the arena champion, but obviously after the last one, I don't think it's a good idea right now. Let's take on Lothar. This should be an easy battle. This, so I'm gonna just skip the great fight. This should be an easy battle. This. We get 13 or higher. We rolled a 10. You're going backwards. No, you don't. Dodged it. Stop going backwards. I'm now stressed. It's not good. Stop jumping. There you go. 44. Lunge. You, you, you're just going backwards right now. This is a problem because I'm running out of essence right now. Oh, you move forward there. That's a dumb idea. Victory. Yeah, that's what you get when you go up against agility opponents. That's a problem. <laughs> That'd be a problem to go up against, that is. Okay, moving on. We'll get some more fights in. I'm not facing the arena champion yet. Not until full armor, I think. All right, we'll take on Nina, a level 7 knight. This could be a problem. She's a knight after all, so, you know. Good def... Ugh. Good defense. That's not good. 
I rolled a 17 though, so that's going to give us the first hit. And we blocked with our second. 44. Ooh. Nice, okay. Let's go for the Warrior Strike. Yes! There goes all your armor. Ooh, you hit me. Got rid of my helmet. How dare you. Lunge! It did nothing. No! Ah, nice block. Nice block. Let's go for attack the head. Yes, 104! Holy smite! Yes! Got you with the holy smite. Don't worry. You will survive. You will live for today. Make sure you're better next time round. Alright. One more. Probably challenge ourselves, really, shouldn't we? Against another person called... What's that set day? This person. <coughs> well, you're probably a wizard or something. You're a priest. You do have intellect, okay? You do have intellect. That's a problem for us. That's a big problem for us. You need a 13 or higher. I rolled a 14. That's quite good. There you go. There goes your pants. I'm slowed. Not the worst thing in the world. I'm going to keep attacking. Doesn't matter if I'm slowed. I don't give a damn. Look at me go. You've healed yourself with cure wounds. Okay. I will warrish. Response. Get rid of all your armor. You come in. I attack your head. 104. And I'm going to lunge. Yes. Victory for Reginald. Get up and fight some more. That's that. For all I know, I could be dead in 300 days. I don't know. Might do. What's the sanitary conditions like here? I don't know. Right. Uh, so, Toga is 522. I want to get the Buckler. The Buckler's probably going to give me more armor. I can get both, to be fair, so that's fine. Let's just get the uh, Brigand Toga as well. There we go. We have upgraded. The leggings is going to be 35 gold. The buckler is going to be uh, 136. Quite all right. Not great to be fair, but you know, I'll take it. It's level up time. Should I try to take on the arena, ch uh, the regional champion now? Should I try that? It might not be a bad option. Let's increase my vitality by two, just to make sure that I survive. And we will get Sword Mastery, which unlocks these now. We need eight to unlock the next section. So that is very nice for me. Okay, 286 days until the arrival of the Starbound Gladiator. I think it's time for us to fight the regional champion. Let's go. Probably gonna end badly. Sir Atlas is the eldest son of the legendary defender of Brandor, Baron Wolfgang. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, but where Wolfgang had a quick temper and a quicker blade added. All right. Sir Atlas Fox, champion of Shackleford. Ancestor of Baron Wolfgang. Uh, yeah, you do more melee. That's bad. You also got good defense and good st- Oh. I feel like I'm well- I'm well out of my depth here. Who knows, though? I might get a good roll. No. Ow. All right. I mean, I, I guess I'll heal. Sort of need to. All right, nice block. Nice block. I'm going to attack his head. Nice. Got some damage in there. Take that armor. And some more. Oh, nice block. You're stressed now. Go in. Yes. There goes your armor. You've got a t-shirt on. Fair enough. We will keep fighting though. Oh no, that's a lot of physical damage. That's a lot of physical damage. Rest, please. You're back to calm again. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go for the human spirit. Why not? I'm now unyielding. All damage taken is all oh, half. Oh, that's quite nice. Unfortunately, it's not going to help me. I still lose. Oh, all right. This guy's tough. All right, then. We're tired of the campfire. Poorer, but wiser. Ooh, okay. Well, that didn't go incredibly well, did it?
That's fine. We can just fight some more. Yeah, we're definitely not ready for him. Definitely not ready for him. Let's take on Mumwoom. Why not? I'll just skip the fight. You're a ranged guy, so uh, I will fully expect for you to try and beat me with ranged. We are going to go first, though, and knock out your pants. I'm going to stab away at your legs. Stab away at your legs! I would like uh, Atlas Fox's uh, weapon, though. That'd be lovely. There goes your breastplate. You're jumping away. I'm lunging in. You dodged. Oh, no. Don't do Stop this. There you go. Reginald needs a rum. Victory. <laughs> All right. Very nice indeed. Good start there. Yeah, really at this point, just want to get some money and, um, yeah, just boost myself up as much as I can to, uh, to take on Sir Atlas Fox. Because I do want his weapon, to be fair. He probably has quite a good weapon for us. It's a sword, after all, so I certainly would like his weapon. I need an 18 there to go first. Jeez, all right then. Well, holy smite. Oh, I missed. Now, oh, well. Ooh. Nice try, mate. Nice try. Unfortunately, it didn't work for you. Oh! Got him with a power attack. 131 damage. Borkox defeated. Alright, let's do one more, and then we'll rest and level up again. We'll do that. It's Glopfleet! <laughs> I love the Sage and Blobs in this game. I do. I do quite a lot. Alright. God, you do a lot of damage. You do a lot of damage, you do. Jesus. Calm down. I rolled a 19. Quite good for me. Smite him. Yes! Oh, no. All right, warrior strike. Yes, there goes all your armor. You fight back and do nothing. I stab you in the head for 114. You broke my boots. Your sword, you're healing yourself. Stop that, stop healing. Oh God, he is actually healing. Him. He's healing himself because he's a sage and blob. Uh, yeah, okay, got some damage in there. That's nice, that's nice. One more and we win really, don't we? There you go. Lovely. Get up, Satan Blobber. Reginald says so. He also says, fancy going to the tavern afterwards. He certainly says that too. All right, let's level up. Okay. Uh, oh, we've uh, unlocked an achievement at level 10. Very nice indeed. All right, let's go with attack and strength. Why not? We might as well keep the ball rolling on this one. Right. What do we want? Critical mastery. Increase the chance of critical hit uh, of melee weapons with by two. Or combat ready. Reduce the initiative roll needed to start the fight by one. That could be really good. That could be really useful. Let's do this. Let's get critical going. Let's get critical hits going. 284 days until the arrival. Oh no. Oh no. All right. Enchantress. I think now you can enchant my weapon, right? I could have make it, couldn't I, really? But it costs a lot to unmake it, jeez. All right. Actually, I don't think I can do it with, with this one because it already has a, a buff on it. To be honest. That does frost damage, fire damage, lightning damage. See, I haven't got anything which gives me, like, necrotic damage. That would be nice. I guess we could do like electrified. Why not? So I could do you and you, maybe. I'd have to enchant it because okay, that that that's that's fine, I guess. That's all right. What I could do actually, like go to the weaponsmith. I could buy just an ordinary dirk and do it that way. But the Gladius is right. The Gladius is right there. I think we carry on. I think honestly we carry on right now. It is thundering outside in the game. No pole arms, no special items. All right, that's fine by me. Oh jeez, I've just noticed the time on this video. Okay, let's get this. Let's get this out of the way quickly then. It's been nearly at 25 minutes. All right, that's a 19. I'll take that. Yes. 
No, not that. Uh, warrior Strike! Yeah! You have been yielded by the Warrior Strike! Dead in two! You are still level up as well, which is very nice to do. Very nice indeed. Alright guys, well, I'm gonna go for a break here. Folks, been the next episode of Let's Play Swords and Sandals Immortals. Hopefully, we'll have another chance at, um, Sir Atlas Fox. I'll see you then!